all right good day everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel and today uh we'll be talking about uh integral calculus and this is one uh this is the continuation of inverse trigonometric functions and additional formulas which we could say we could see some integrals involving quadratic expressions but we have to apply the concept uh, that, that i discussed during the inverse trigonometric functions and additional formulas so in this case we have here welcome once again to castelligan blanc's integral calculus so let's have first number one so the integral of dx over x squared minus 3x plus 2. in this case guys our class uh, we could not easily substitute the direct substitute or we could not easily point out the pattern or the formula that we're going to use that's why this is the very important uh, uh, concept that we need to introduce today again that is all about completing the square so how to complete the square let's have this okay so first is we have to complete this one so dx over x squared minus 3x to complete this part we have to have the unknown then plus 2, then a no. So, how to get the third term? So, we have 1 half b quantity squared. So, we have here 1 half of 3, then squared, that is 9 over 4. So, we have to add here 9 over 4 and subtract it 9 over 4. So, integral of dx over x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4 then plus or rather this is minus because 8 minus 9 this is 1 4 1 4 right so 2 minus 9 over 4 then is equal to 1 4 so in the integral of this part is dx over x minus copy the minus here then square root of this one 3 over 2 then square then minus 1 half then square so in this time we could now apply the formula since this is in the pattern or the formula du over uh, we have here the formula u squared minus a squared so this is the formula 1 over 2a ln of u minus a u plus a then plus c okay so in this case what is our u our u is equal to x minus 3 halves our d u is equal to dx our a is equal to one half okay so by the use of the formula here so 1 over 2a ln of u minus a u plus a plus c so 1 over 2 times 1 half ln of u which is x minus 3 halves minus 1 half over x minus uh, plus no x minus 3 halves plus 1 half then plus c so this is the, the result of this one is 1 so therefore ln of 3 halves minus 1 half that is equal to negative 4 over 2 that is x minus 2 over 3 halves minus, plus 1 half that is equal to negative 2 over 2 that is x minus 2 then plus c so this is the final answer so why we need to use completing the square once again so we have to use completing the square when we could not directly show or we could not directly give a pattern formula here for inverse functions so we need to complete the term in order we could make use of this pattern and we could use this pattern as well so we bring this uh, problem for reading this problem using complete and square so that we could be able to make use of the formula okay so thank you let's proceed with number two integral of 
the square root of 3 minus 2x minus x squared dx. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is we need to complete the square or completing use the completing the square because no such formula that could fit to this uh, equation first. So first is we have to complete. So this is integral of the square root of this is 3 minus the blank plus 2x plus x squared, right? Then dx. Okay. So we have to complete. So we have to find 1 half b, then quantity squared, that is 1 half of the 1 that is equal to, oh no, 1 half of 2 rather, that is equal to 1 squared, that is equal still 1. So the integral of the square root of 3, so what we are going to add here is plus 1. Okay, plus 1, so therefore we have to add, since this is negative, so we have to add 1 here because this is negative. So plus 1 plus 3. Then minus uh, 1 plus 2x plus x squared dx here. So the integral of, we have to simplify first. This is 4, then 2 squared minus we have x plus 1 squared dx. So now we have now the fat pattern that we are the formula that we're going to use here. This is the integral of the square root of a squared minus u squared du is equal to u over 2 the square root of a squared minus u squared plus a squared over 2 inverse sine of u over a plus c. In this case, we have to find for what is the value for our a. Our a is equal to 2 and our u is equal to x plus 1. So therefore, our du is equal to dx. So by the use of the formula here, so we have to copy. So equal to u, what is our u? x plus 1 over 2, the square root of what is inside. You have just to copy here. So 3 minus 2x minus x squared then plus what is our a our a is equal to 2 squared it is 4 over 2 inverse sine of what is our u our u is equal to x plus 1 over x plus 1 over 2 then plus c so this is we have to simplify x plus 1 times the square root of 3 minus 2x plus x squared over 2, then plus 2 inverse sine of x plus 1 over 2, then plus c. Okay, so this is the final answer. Now we'll proceed now with number 3. So number 3 is the integral of 2x minus 3dx, 4x squared minus 1. So in this case, we have here, if we are going to let this one as our u, our u would be 4x squared minus 1, if we have to let this part. Our du is equal to 2x. Since 2x and this is 2x minus 3, so the first, this is a tricky question we could uh, separate this 2x and 3. So what we're going to do here is this. So this will become the integral of 2x dx because if we're going to make this one as 2x dx, we could anticipate that we could make use of du over u over 4x squared minus 1 minus the integral of 3 dx over 4x squared minus 1. Alright. So now, we have here, 
Okay, so we have here the result. So 2x and take out 2x dx over 4x squared minus 1 minus the integral of 3 dx over 4x squared minus 1. So in this case, we have to find for the formula here first. The formula that suits here is this part. So in this part, this is integral of du, right, du over u minus the integral of 3 integral of dx over 4x squared minus 1. So this is 4x squared minus 1, the pattern that we're going to use integral of du over u squared minus a squared, which is the result of this one is 1 over 2a ln of u minus a over u plus a then plus c. So first is we have to find for our u here in this part. Our u is equal to 2x. Our du is equal to 2dx. And f is equal to 1. Our a is equal to 1. So we could now simply substitute here. So du over u is equal to ln. So we have here 2x dx. So I oh, know this is 8x rather, 8x. Okay, again. So u is equal to 4x squared. I forgot. I'm anticipating the 2x. u is equal to 4x squared minus 1. du is equal to 8x dx. So therefore, nf here is 1 over 4. I oh, know. 8x. Uh, 1 over 4, uh, because we could have this uh, du is equal to 4. This is 2x dx, right? So since we could cater 2x dx, so this 4 is only the neutralizing factor. Uh, we could have to neutralize here rather the 4. So therefore, our nf is equal to 1, 4. Again, we go back here, d is equal to 8x other, this is 8x dx, d is equal to 4 times 2x dx. So we could cater here. So 4, we have to neutralize here, so nf is equal to 1 4. So therefore, this is 1 4 ln of, what is our u, which is 4x squared minus 1, minus 3, okay. So we have here our nf of 1 half. So our nf is 1 half, we have to write here 1 half. Then the formula is 1 over times 1 over 2 times a, which is 1. Ln of u here is 2x minus a, which is 1, over 2x plus 1. Then plus c. So therefore, we have here 1 fourth ln of 4x squared minus 1 minus 1 half times 1 half, that is 1 fourth, that is 3 over 4, ln of 2x minus 1 over 2x plus 1, then plus c. So this is the final answer. Now let's proceed with number 4. So in number 4, the problem here is integral of 2x plus 7 dx x squared plus 2x plus 5. So first is we have to try here. If we're going to let this one as our u, x squared plus 2x plus 5, our du is equal to 2x plus 2. Since our du is equal to 2x plus 2 and this is 2x plus 5, we could uh, break down the, the, the problem. So we could have this one as integral of 2x plus 2 dx over x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus integral of 5 dx over x squared plus 2x plus 5. All right. So next part here, 
since we integrate here, so understood that this part, du dx, this part is integral of du over u. So what we're going to do is we have to simplify first is what? 5 integral of dx over Next is we have to, since no formula, uh, direct formula here, we have to use completing the square here. So 2x squared plus 2x plus the unknown, then plus 5 plus the unknown. So 2x, one half of this one, then squared, the result is 1, then minus 1. So this is ln of x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus 5 the integral of dx over x plus 1 squared then this is plus 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 that is 2 squared so the formula here if we're going to look at here the formula is understood that this is integral of du over u squared plus a squared so this is equal to uh, 1 over 1 over a 1 over a inverse tangent of u over a plus c right so in this case we have here ln of x squared plus 2x plus 5 you have to copy here because we finished the, already this part plus 5 we have to use what is our u here. Our u is x plus y. Our du is equal to dx. Our a is equal to 2. So therefore, times 1 over a, which is 2, inverse tangent of u here is x plus 1 over a, which is 2, then plus c. So the, answer, the final answer would be ln of x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus 5 over 2 inverse tangent of x plus 1 over 2 then plus c. So this is the final answer. So take note if we could encounter like this, we could break down the problem. Or we could separate half here because we could apply naman dito here the natural logarithm. Mm, some of the pr problems that I will be giving in the try this look like this. Some. Okay. So try this at home. Evaluate of each of the following. So the square root of 4x squared minus 12x plus 5. Again, how to when to use completing the square if no direct uh, formula that we could be able to apply. So the first that we're going to do, if no direct, we have to use completing the square to bring down the formula in to bring down the problem into uh, easy way which we could apply the formula. Okay, one the square root of four x squared minus twelve x plus five dx, the square root of four x minus one dx over square root of four x squared minus nine, and x plus one dx over two x plus two x squared plus six x plus nine. So thank you so much for listening, everyone. So I hope you understood the lesson. If you have some questions, just message me in the messenger. And do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you and God bless.